Developing tonight, outrage among some school districts and parents about a new plan requiring high school juniors to take the SAT rather than the ACT. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn is live. Russell, the decision came from the Department of Education two days before Christmas. Eric, that's part of the outrage factor. Many of these 11th graders are set to take the test in just three months, and they've been preparing for the ACT, not the SAT. One superintendent calling this an 11th hour decision that could impact a student's ability to get into college. For 14 years, high school juniors in Colorado have been required to take the ACT exam in preparation for college. Now you can take a full SAT or PSAT. But the Colorado Department of Education is changing that requirement, now switching to the SAT exam. What it's like is trying to change the tire while the car is moving. Cherry Creek is among the most vocal districts lashing out at that decision. Superintendent Harry Bull sent this letter to parents today stating the CDE's decision is troubling and will be a disadvantage to all students. But I know around here the colleges that at least that we applied for all looked at ACT first. Zan Hammond has an 11th grade daughter at Creek and another daughter at the University of Kansas. We gave them SAT scores. But everything seemed to apply to the ACT when they're pulling information about scholarships and money. In response to a barrage of concerns, the Department of Ed is now backing off and working on what it calls a transition plan for this year's junior class. We are hoping to be able to give the ACT exam for this year's 11th grade students. The interim commissioner sending out a letter of his own stating to require this year's 11th graders to take the SAT would not be in their best interest. The transition plan still needs approval from both the SAT and ACT vendors. We're optimistic, but um, nothing is final yet. That final decision could come at the beginning of next week. The 15-member committee made this change after a new state law required them to put the test out for bid. Much more to come on this. For now, we're live at Denver West High School. Russell Haythorn. Denver 7. Thanks, Russell. So what are the differences between the two tests, the ACT and SAT? The Princeton Review says it all depends on what your students' best abilities are. The SAT has more sections, 10 in all, in critical reading, math, and writing. Schools will most likely look at your scores in each subject. The ACT includes science, which is not included in the other test and is more of a big-picture exam. So schools will probably look at your overall score.